This video is about the inventor. An inventor for the purpose of patents is someone who makes a creative effort to reach a new solution to a problem in the field of technology. This is true for most countries. The US legislation does not really limit inventions to the field of technology. However, a recent decision of the US Supreme Court, the so-called Alice decision, makes it pretty clear that a technical contribution of an invention is quite vital for a patent to be granted. So there are basically three key characteristics of an inventor. First of all, the inventor has to identify a problem. Then secondly, the inventor has to have the will to solve this problem with technical means. And thirdly, the inventor has to be successful in some, because someone who is not solving the problem cannot be an inventor, right? The most famous inventors and most successful inventors like Thomas Edison or Arthur Fisher are typically very good and skilled craftsmen or technicians or engineers. Most patent offices in the world nowadays follow the problem-solution approach. That means they try to assess whether an inventor really made a patentable invention. And this is how they do it, basically in short form. They first identify the so-called prior art, so they search for documents where similar solutions have been found, and maybe not the same ones, but similar ones. Then they identify the differences between the things that they found and the invention. And then the applicant has to convince the patent office that uh, there is a technical advantage uh, connected with that difference. So in my point of view, this is very similar to the process of inventing something. So as an example, Arthur Fischer invented the plastic expansion anchor or plastic in expansion dowel. This is the original patent issued by the German Patent Office. It was issued on the 13th of July 1961 and it was filed as a patent application only half a year earlier on the 12th of, uh, 12th of January 1961. And if I go to the last page. It has only two pages of text and one pages of figures. You can see what this patent is about. The two key features are that the dowel or the anchor is flexible, made of plastic, so it can expand when um, a screw is inserted. And also that there is a slit along the length of the uh, dowel. So basically that it can expand. So that was the trick. And it, uh, now that you know it, it seems like, okay, that was easy, but it was very, it's typically quite difficult to reach that solution or to have that idea, not obvious. So this is an example of a very successful invention. It made millions for Arthur Fischer. If you found this video useful, you can press like or share this video with your friends or subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and most importantly, reap your ideas.